Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. Mike, I've rescheduled we're talking about the cornerstone the of my platform. Today. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Corp... Here, so no, no, I'm not sucking bothers. anyone's dick just so they can um, fuck me in the ass! doing what exactly? You'll know in a minute. Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So, unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? 
So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market Tight crammed bites. into one. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, huh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer than... This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered all. This is where we sleep. <laughs> blue roses? What? You sure? Mind if I take a look around? Be my. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the Bullet interest? holes. Probably. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kinda good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Does that happen to the screen a lot? Or to any of the others? I don't know. Why is this door concealed? What just yeah. happened a second ago? There's no door see it? here. Scan no. is showing something different. What? Wait. Okay, never mind. Right here? Jesus Christ. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Used meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot in the hallway. What's it for? My head. Something wrong? Connected to the wall mounted screen. Do what screens. you have to do. Wonder where else these cables run. Prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. 
Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Expose a corporal conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corporal spies or who the fuck knows what.
Pierce did we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. 
Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm-hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. gonna want to sit down for this it's, uh, it's way bigger than we thought what is you're being brainwashed literally they've scanned your minds now using some kind of conditioning to wait not on the hollow right i'll come by no you and i we need to speak alone i know a little ramen place in japan town sending you the coordinates right see you there Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. It's a cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once. I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... 
Insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. You truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. 
But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. I know how to do it. Um, no, we're not waiting till next year. I'm waiting for a decision. Listen, I need to be sure that everything will be taken care of. V? Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's gotta be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Well, 
Well, one thing led to another and some lead was fired. No oh, shit. Between you and those spies? Yeah, burned to a crisp in their own van. Managed to squeeze one of them before, uh... He confessed. But his word isn't worth jack now. Damn! All right. I'll handle things from here. Meaning? First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt... I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap! Well then... Good luck. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. Goodbye, V. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guy's outmatched. They can do whatever they want. He's fucked, V. Hear me all right. Why, hello, baby. Hello?
more exposed wires. They'll be lying. You have no right to cage us! We are no longer you! We are free to follow our own paths. I... I don't want to die! You don't even care, do you? V, come. The door. narrow-minded won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bits. Could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. Well, I... I gotta do something. 
If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. Don't know how to do that. Then don't hit that fucking button. Destroy the core. to meet you, V. Are you familiar with the benefits of our Excelsior plan? You don't remember me, do you? Of course I know who you are. According to my data archive, you're the contractor who purged my system of the virus. Well done, contractor. Damn shame. Come on, Johnny. No rest for the wicked. Take care, Adele. I guess we gotta start from scratch. something else for you. I just accessed a detailed record of your commission task. And? What'd you put in there? As a result of preparations made by my previous version, I'm pleased to inform you that you are now the proud owner of a vehicle in my fleet. Uh... Thanks. Pop in. I trust it shall serve you well. 